For Lunch is the second episode of the first season of The Magic School Bus, a PBS show that ran from 1994 to 1997 and better still be shown in classes because it was amazing. This episode in particular always stuck in my memory because of its focus on gum chewing and, more specifically, gum swallowing. This kid Arnold is trying to break the school gum chewing record, which is apparently 9 hours and 10 minutes. Of course, Arnold is a huge, terrible disappointment as always and accidentally swallows follows the gum. Miss Frizzle, the class's quirky teacher, uses this as the basis for their next field trip. Leaving Arnold behind under the supervision of her pet lizard Liz, the rest of the class proceeds to shrink down and journey inside Arnold. This is all done, like everything else in the show, without any kind of permission slip or parental approval. Every field trip in the show was kind of a legal nightmare, really. The gang travels throughout Arnold, learning how the digestive system works. They end up in, well, the obvious place. At my old school, we were never allowed to end up in the toilet. You know, Phoebe, when I was younger, you kind of bothered me, but I'm finding I can relate to you a bit more these days. Anyway, this episode, plus the myth that myself and many others were told that gum takes seven years to digest, made me afraid to swallow gum. I still never do it. In 1994, this episode of Body Exploration, as well as the book, was turned into a game that I remember playing in my school's Macintosh lab. The Magic School Bus Explores the Human Body opens with a theme song to the show when we get to see the CD-ROM version of our cartoon pals. And I gotta say, they really did capture the excitement of the show here. The cartoon intro had the bus zipping through space, the ocean, even through sound waves. The game intro mirrors the energy by showing kids getting picked up for school and, you know, Tim draws a picture, I guess? Our adventure begins in the classroom, where we're able to click on things to watch some less than impressive animations, as well as interact with the cast of the show. I'm going to be a doctor when I grow up. Foolish child, you exist in the world of a children's cartoon. You're never gonna grow up. And even if you do, it's gonna be weird and probably make everyone a bit uncomfortable. Hey, you got six! Six! Ah! Ah! The classroom is fairly boring until Miss Frizzle shows up via explosion. I'd say that's a pretty standard entrance from the Frizz, really. We are going on our best field trip yet, class. Because today, we're going to take a trip inside the human body. Everybody knows that the best way to connect with children is to wave your hands around like a madman. It's very comforting. Do you feel comforted? Hello to everybody, Liz. Oh yeah, I forgot that the developers decided to give the pet lizard a voice. A really weird and terrible voice. Liz begins to ramble, basically explaining to us what a magic school bus is, even though the lyrics to the theme song should have been sufficient. And hey, let me clue you in on something. We're going to do something with Ms. Frizzle that you could never do in real life. For example, you could never really drive a bus into someone's mouth. And I don't care how little you are, you can't go scuba diving in somebody's small intestine. You know this, and I know this, and we all know you're smart enough to know what's real and what's not. Okay, I get it. I'm a genius who knows what a computer game is. Now let's move it along before I drive a bus into your mouth. We're supposed to click on the bus to start the field trip, but let's look around just a little bit more, huh? Click on the skeleton for a bone a treat. Oh, a bonus treat, eh? Well, that sounds just risque enough to be interesting. Oh, you meant literally because of the bones. Never mind, let's just get on the bus. We actually get to be the bus driver in this game, and step one is making a driver's license. The sound effects when you change something on the license are pretty great. It's just some guy making a bunch of different noises. I especially like this one. I gotta find a way to use that somehow. All right, let's see what the revised story is here. I'm guessing we're gonna get an abridged version of the cartoon. Here's Arnold eating Cheetos and reading a comic of everyone's favorite superhero, Mike. Without any explanation, his friends all ditch him, though maybe Arnold is just used to it, and away we go. The mouth. Eloquently put, Miss Frizzle, welcome to Arnold's mouth. We can see tooth fairies and spit cans. It's pretty great, right? We can look this way and we can look the other way. Hmm. 
well, let's just see what the people in the back of the bus are doing, huh? Everyone looks pretty chill for having just been shrunk down and eaten by their friend, but I suppose this is just another Tuesday for the magic school bus. These guys are here to give us some great mouth facts. Saliva is the liquid that flows into your mouth when you chew. And when we get bored of learning, we can check out Tim's trendy splat backpack. Here we can draw things in really creepy, disgusting ways. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to draw something that actually looks good with the tools we have here. Also, who is the smart guy who is all, hey, let's have really realistic looking eyeballs, right? And then you draw with them by slamming them down onto the paper, right? Kids love that stuff. And here's my masterpiece. It's, uh, it's splat, man. I mean, if you don't get splat, then I guess you just aren't as cool as Tim and me. All right, let's at least look around Arnold a bit. I mean, we're already here, so we might as well. We're able to navigate through the body using conveniently placed road signs. Most of them trigger a school bus transformation sequence because everybody knows we can't drive a magic bus through someone's nose unless we slap a propeller on top of it. There are 12 places to explore inside Arnold, from the brain all the way to the large intestine. Each one is more or less the same. I mean, not the parts of the body, obviously, but what we can do in them. We peer out the windows of the bus into Arnold's organs, seeing all there is to see, all whilst clicking on random things floating around inside of him. You know, it may be creepy and a huge violation of his personal space, but maybe it's a good thing we're in here. I feel like I'd want to know if some of this stuff was in my body. Aside from simply wandering around inside of Arnold and hearing either science facts or terrible jokes from the back of the bus, there really isn't much to do. I'm actually a little surprised seeing as I remember playing this game many times back in the day. I guess I was easier to entertain back then, and since we only spent, like, what, an hour in the computer lab, I guess that's how I managed to not get worn out on this thrilling gameplay. But there are a few other diversions inside Arnold. In some areas, such as the liver, we get an outside view of the bus and we're able to find little Game Boys with mini games to play. In Liver Lever, you do your best to flip levers to allow tiny colored balls to fall into matching cups. I don't know how a liver really works, so I'm just gonna assume it's exactly like this. Very informative. In the kidneys, we can play Kidn Around. Yeah, that one's reaching a bit, I think. The goal is to drive the bus from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. And if that wasn't intense enough for you, well, you also get to wait as the bus goes through a car wash halfway through. In some areas, we're actually able to leave the bus and walk around. So, in case you were thinking, hmm, is there any way I could get even more inside the body of this small child? Well, Miss Frizzle's got you covered. Here we are swimming around inside his small intestine. You know, the students' faces really do accurately reflect the amount of fun this screen is. At some point, Miss Frizzle just decides to throw out what remaining safety precautions we have and let the students roam freely around Arnold's brain. I love how nonchalant they all look like, yeah, I'm stepping on someone's brain, so what? Even stranger, though, is the student's decision to not wear any extra protection when they're poking around in Arnold's large intestine. They also look oddly relaxed with the idea of hanging out inside their classmates' butt, standing next to a bunch of his unpooped poops. I can't say I'd have the same kind of composure. Oh my god, don't touch it. What is wrong with you? These kids are gross. There's really not much more to say about this game, at least as far as I can tell. I guess that's why they called it Explores the Human Body and not Explores the Human Body and also finds a lot of fun things to do there too. When we exit the game, we're presented with a checklist of every place we can visit, and let me tell you, it feels very rewarding and not annoying at all when you check everything off in one playthrough. Wahoo, guys. Wahoo. One more thing before I go. You know, I didn't really see it when I was younger, but Miss Frizzle is kind of a little evil. Under the innocent guise of taking her young class on a field trip to one of her students' buttholes, Miss Frizzle has done something truly disgusting. Utilizing technology in her so-called magic school bus, she basically invented a torture device. There's a little panel here on the left side of the bus, and with it we're able to control Arnold in different ways. This has some pretty innocent uses, such as making him smell unpleasant things, <coughs> or making him fart in public. 
Pardon me. But obviously, this technology can have some diabolical uses as well. Let's see how much Arnold likes breathing a bunch of carbon dioxide. <laughs> yeah, and how about we go ham on the oxygen too, huh? Having fun, Arnold? Yeah, I bet you really wish you'd stayed home today. And now all that's left is to pump up the nitrogen. And don't you dare try to stop me, Liz. I know you're thinking about it. That's right, that's right. Mike can't save you now, Arnold. Yes, yes, yes! Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new here and liked what you saw, think about hitting that subscribe button. And hey, do you like streams? Because I've started to stream more regularly over at Twitch, so if you're interested, head on over and give me a follow. I'd be happy to see you there sometime. And if you're interested in some more retro PC gaming videos, why not check out my buddy Pro Jared's video on High Seas Trader? It's a good one, which is what pirates say, I guess. Broccoli, 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 broccoli.